how we're doing folks hydro electricity build another piece um so far as the update is you see me get the pipe working get it out get it buried um prepare that end then i had to build the dam stroke retaining wall um which as you can see is quite a height it was quite a challenge because all of these timbers all literally cut by hand and i had to walk them as you said on another one quite a distance each one's come down by hand um i don't know if you can quite see you might see a bit better in there but i've got a plastic sheet um but it's, it's an old polytunnel um, cover that's it's no good for anything else but it's just there to retain the soil because the soil is going to be up sort of up to about here and then the waterfall the clever bit hopefully is the waterfall is going to come over here boom, 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 boom. that's the plan we're now at the stage that this is built that i've got a backfill behind which is coming up from the gate we'll show you that now but hopefully you're finding this informative hopefully it's giving you some ideas and hopefully me being the idiot is making you smile. Let's see what's the other side of the fence. Apart from the little one, good girl. This is what's happening the other side. I've rented in a dumper, which I've got my friend who's working my digger at the top at the moment, loading my dumper, and we're backfilling with stone, wood. I mean, there is a bit of some, a few bits of plastic. It's just no good for anything. We're burying it. The stone and structures like that is there to help give us a bit of grounding um, because this is going to be a main trackway and as you can see down there that is an old awning that had been ravaged by mice that came from we can't see it from here is the caravan my my winter storage facility and i laid that over the soil pipe to help protect the soil pipe when obviously got the weight on it so we're going that we're doing that and we're going to basically backfill all of this up to the top of where the the plastic is and as you can see i'm making a mess in the garden i'll be able to recover that next year that's not a problem got to admit it's a beautiful day for it barely a cloud in the sky and so yeah we put in two dumper loads and then the digger comes in um, pushes it all down pushes it all around to uh, track it in to try and compress it down um, you'll see what I'm doing because I'll do a little bit of video in a minute but we we'll go up to where the digger's operating now As you can see, my mate's operating a digger. He also lives a uh, fellow off Gridder, got his own land. Um, and he's got a smaller digger, which is a recent uh, investment for him. So he's still learning. So he's a little bit slow, but it's a pair of hands and I'm grateful for them. But the ground, as you can see where he's digging, is raised, it's, it's higher than the track. So what we're doing, is I'm taking the soil out of there, putting it into the dumper, running the dumper down there, tip it in there. But then what we're going to do is, when I have enough of that stone and soil, because it's just horrible stone and soil, um, for the, the backfill, I'm then going to put a big pile of it, um, which would be more or less back of the caravan, so that I can extend my garden in my own time with the digger. Basically, trying to make as much use of the hired dumper whilst I have it. So, let's go and see what's going on up there, shall we? It's all getting good. I'm getting excited. Once it's got that one on, we'll take it out and I'll, I'll take it down the bottom. Thank <laughs> you. 
Trying to drive one handed. A little bit of a challenge. Whereas the control levers are on the left hand side and I'm holding you with my left hand. Luckily, my girls, as you can see them there, they know how to get out of the way. They've learned with me for ages and they move. So then we're going to drive this down and tip this one up, go back, get a refill. Very repetitive, but this gives you the idea of basically what I'm doing for the next day or two. But just having fun. Big boys toys. But all for, <laughs> comically, all for the greater good. All to help me look at that beautiful day gain cheaper electricity because obviously I have to factor in the cost of hiring the dump bar the cost of all the materials but once I have hydro operational I will have to pay no more this as I see it is an investment and we get into the sticky bit now where I have to concentrate a little bit because if I get this wrong, this goes over. That's because I was in gear. And repeat. It's kind of satisfying doing this. Do us blokes ever grow up? Just toys. Can be dangerous toys, admittedly, but as you can see here, there's a bit of a bank and it's all rubble and horrible soil and stone, which is great for me backfilling the um, waterfall area and regaining my track. But because it is so sticky, I mean, the bucket fills up. This boat and it's just compacted down, um, so I'm not getting as much per trip or per load as I would like. So every every so often, I'm having to lift the bucket up on the on the dumper and scrape it scrape it out again. Because that will stay in there congested for as long as it stays it stays in there. It's because it's, it's very clayy. So all I'm trying to do is break break it down a bit. So that the next time it will carry carry more and uh, I can get this in position now but it'll carry more per trip 
saving a little bit on the fuel um, and trying to make the whole process that much more efficient. So, but yeah, just playing, playing around with a digger and a dumper really. I've rented this in, hired it in for two days, um, so working it as hard as I can to get as much of the money I've spent on that, get as much work done as I possibly can. But it's all for me, yeah, it's money I could have done without spending, admittedly, but it's money I've had to spend. Otherwise, imagine trying to do this with a shovel and a wheelbarrow. It's not going to happen, is it? So, let's get this in position. I'll be able to load it from there. So it's a case of jumping from one, jumping from the other, but more importantly, I'm achieving. And uh, as you will have seen, you would have seen it in uh, like time lapse, which obviously looks a lot faster. And this is a short little bit, just to show you the reality of how fast I'm able to work with the machine and loading the dumper and so taking it down so far I've taken 11 loads from here and I'm going to be taking just behind me there I'm going to be taking this out all the way um, what I don't need for the backfill I'm going to extend where my car, what I call my car park, where I park my vehicles, um, so that I get a bit, little bit more ground because the gradient of my ground goes like that. So if I can extend it a little bit, while I've got the use of the dumper, I can then transfer all of this stuff down there, making this nice and flat. Some grass seeds, some wildflowers, maybe next year they'll come up it'll just make the entrance to my place a prettier place so but no, i mean it's a challenging time um i can't do it in the summer because obviously i'm away working but i'm having to do it this time of the year i'm battling against the elements a little bit because obviously this is uh quite a clay soil so it's very sticky which makes it a little bit hard going but I don't have any choice I'm very fortunate that the last two days have been in my favour because even though the ground is still damp it's been dry for the last two days and saying that a couple of days previous as well so let's make hay while the sun shines people so oh, I'm not too worried about making this perfectly level as I go because Obviously, this digger is my digger, and uh, I can come up here whenever I want with it, and I can. Oh, I can come up whenever I want with it and do it at a later time. Even when it's a little bit drier, it'll be easier to track in and make smooth. But what we'll do for now, I'm going to have to move the digger. Now, I've got more load and I have to move the digger and move the dumper. But, so for the last 
For the last two days, a little bit of help yesterday from a fellow off gridder. Um, and today, just going to keep going and going and going. Uh, beautiful day. Why not? Well, looking like it's going to be a reasonably nice day here. And after a weekend of making muddy tracks, using the dumper, and obviously having the dumper on higher means I needed to make the most of the dumper. And I'd got enough soil and stone so I had a big pile there so that I can push it around and, and fill up the area here when I move the bridge a bit. And that just to make sure because of the dumper for a limited period of time. All of this I can make good with the digger, not a problem. Then we had heavy rain. And due to my enthusiastic approach on making sure there was more than enough soil there because I can move things around in my own time with the digger, I put a lot of soil there and I hadn't put in, which I knew I had to, was about when it was sort of like halfway up, it was putting in a, another support in the ground. Bless, oh no good. Having a morning pollutions. And so the rain moved the soil and collapsed one side. I knew I had to put one in my fault because i was too excited or too enthusiastic in trying to make sure i had enough soil here whilst i had the dumper it's not irreparable but it's definitely repairable it looks looks a lot worse than it is but it just means i've got more work to do hey even in everyday life even in my alternative way i'm a human being I make mistakes and now I'm paying the price. That just means another day's work. But the beautiful part about it, I'm learning. And that's the key to this one. So when it's, when it's a little bit drier, get the dig around, dig out as much of this soil as possible, and then pick this wall back up, rebuild it and put in, which should have been there and going in there was stay bars or you know, structural strengthening. My mistake. Oh well, Mother Nature teaches me lessons. Time to get on. So, to end this little episode, I sulked with the uh, waterfall and I wouldn't even speak to it. Oh, for two or three days, wouldn't speak to it, wouldn't even look at it because it was such a bad lady. But there we go. It hasn't uncovered anything, but it's made me feel better. Anyway, got the digger out, got the digger over, and as you can see, I'm starting to make tracks around the rhododendron. Plus, getting trees and timber down so that I can do the shoring up of the dam. Of which, when you start to get trees out, as you can see, the top of the tree there, and it comes all the way down here, three of them, and, oh yeah, up to a strap, hauling it out with my digger. No muscular work, I can get all that timber down, it's way more than I need to sort the dam out. But what I don't need, I'll log, stack, and I'll burn that in two years time. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, folks. Anyway, remember the chicken logo, that's up in the corner, up in that corner there, I think it is. Um, thank you for all of you who have, continue, and those of you who are thinking. It truly is appreciated. And as per normal, the comments down at the bottom, I love them, and I genuinely do. So. From me to you, keep smiling, keep being happy, even a bad day can be.